For many of us, reality is quite enough. But it seems virtual reality is now all the rage. Wearing a mask, blocking out the real world, watching computer-generated images beamed into your eyeballs. For the next few weeks, there will be eight virtual reality or VR playgrounds dotted around the city of Norwich. It's all part of the 2017 Norfolk and Norwich Festival, which received its official launch today. Mike Liggins went to have a go at one of the VR playgrounds on the swings with his mask on, and he was accompanied by the festival director, William Galinsky. Whoa! No! <laughs> Do you, do you know, there was a point at which Brendan was talking about having branded sick bag, sickness bags for it. I was a bit, I was a bit dizzy afterwards, yeah. I would admit it. But you like it, you liked it? Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> and um, this is going to be elsewhere in the city, it's going to be part of the festival. This, this is going to be all over the city for 17 days, it's completely free. There are four different things you can have a go on, it's, it's, it's like a video game meets an adventure playground. Who knew art could be so much fun, hey? Is it art? I think it's, well, I think it is, but you know, art, art, art can be fun. You know, it can be, it can be great fun. It's like seeing the circus, or it's, it's, uh, it's hearing a great concert, or a great singer, or a great pop song that makes your spine tingle. All that's art, it, you know, it brings us together, it makes us celebrate life, uh, it gives us a feeling of joy. It was really cool actually. I really like that. Excellent. I didn't think I was going to. I thought I was going to hate it. My name's Professor Brendan Walker, creator of the VR Playground. How does it work? On the swing, obviously you're, as you're moving, we're capturing the physical forces using a sensor underneath the swing seat. So I know what G-forces your body's experiencing. And then taking that data and building a virtual world which responds to that. So you might be able to feel that you're swinging in the virtual world but I then take it one step further and make you feel that you're doing other uh, movements inside the virtual world, like being a jellyfish, like being inside a giant wheel that's speeding forwards, like being a shuttlecock that's bouncing on the top of buildings. There's all sorts of things. It sounds unpleasant. <laughs> it's as unpleasant as going on the teacups at the theme park. For some people it's hugely exciting but it can be a bit challenging so getting on it thinking it's just a playground experience it's it's much more than that it's truly experimental is it art yes yeah, so my where my interest in art lies is experimenting with people's experience so very much what people are seeing what their body experiences and how their brain makes sense of this work so my work exists in creating these new experiences and also helping people on the swing it's a form of aerial art so for the spectators they're seeing somebody performing their emotions and I think that's where this works this is a piece of performance art I could see my kids absolutely loving this I'm sure they would. Maybe not for everyone, though. Not for the faint-hearted. Mike Liggins reporting from the Norfolk and Norwich Festival launch. It's underway for another year.